Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today we're diving headfirst into the awesome world of dumpster diving. Get ready to join us as we uncover all sorts of cool stuff, share our best diving secrets, and chat about why this is more than just a hobby. Whether you're a total pro or just curious, you're in for a wild ride. So hit that subscribe button and become part of our dumpster diving community, and let's jump in. Alrighty, you guys might remember this video. We are remastering and remaking and refreshing you guys with this because this was just too crazy. This was almost two years ago when we first put this out and we really had no idea at the time what was going on with this dumpster, okay? You're gonna see what I'm talking about in a little bit. This Mr. Bolt dives a little bit deeper into this dumpster. You can get away from this curtain. Okay, so this this was just crazy. This was actually probably, I'd say probably one of our craziest dumpsters ever. So you see all these boards, these cardboards, boxes, all of that. Those are like packages. And I don't know why we didn't really realize it at the time that thinking that this was like part of those pirates, like the Amazon package pirate things. Um, maybe about a few weeks before we did this video, um, there were stories in the news about trains, you know, just being hijacked for all kinds of stuff, right? They, there was thousands of empty packages just lying along the train tracks. And, um, yeah, we didn't even hear about this until after the video. But that's what I'm thinking. I mean, let us know if you guys have any other theories on what was going on with this dumpster. Because this was all brand new stuff. All kinds of Amazon packages, products, all kinds of stuff in here. I mean, Mr. Vol is just trying to collect whatever he can because some of the stuff fell out. But it looked like whoever dumped this just threw it in some trash bags and tossed it into the dumpster along with all these packages, envelopes, all kinds of stuff. I don't know what were they doing? Were they just like going through the packages and maybe taking out the valuable stuff? Let us know in the comments what you think about this. So we were just trying to save all this stuff before the trash trucks come and pick it up. Mr. Bull's trying to get as much as he can, as fast as he can. Sometimes when you know we find dumpsters like this, it gets overwhelming because you're trying, you know, of course to be safe. To save as much as you can without, you know, getting caught. And luckily in this particular spot, um, we have had, you know, good luck with this area where they're, you know, nice enough to you know, give us some stuff, any scrap metal. So this particular area, they're really nice about it. But I'm thinking that, you know, some people probably just toss us out, maybe they were going to come back for it, or they were just trying to get rid of all of this stuff. But maybe there's brand new things in here, packaging, more brand new things. And again, you know, when you peek in, it might not seem like there's a lot of stuff in there, but as you dig in, you're going to find more and more and more. So let us know in the comments if you guys dumpster dive, what's your craziest finds? We love to hear from you guys. And we also want to say thank you to all of you guys. We have recently hit 50,000 subscribers. So we want to say thank you and we appreciate all of you guys who have been watching from the beginning. Let us know how long you've been watching. 
I know we have some people who've been here since we had like 500 or less. So we really do appreciate that. And yes, we are going to be doing a giveaway soon. So most likely it will be announced in our next video. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on your notifications because we have been receiving lots of comments from subscribers who haven't been getting notified of our videos. Um, they haven't even been showing up in their, you know, the YouTube home. So they have been missing a lot of videos and they let us know about that, like how they can fix that. So one thing is you can turn on the notifications. So whenever we have a video, it'll notify you and then you can watch it. That or you can go to the channel and watch a couple videos and hit the like button and YouTube will kind of see that you actually want to watch the videos. So they'll kind of recommend it a little bit more. Okay, there's so much stuff in here, you guys. Um, you're gonna have to stick around for this whole video because all of this stuff is gonna be shown at the end. So just keep watching. And then it's just, for me, like seeing it, it's interesting to see like all of this stuff is in this dumpster like it doesn't look like it but there's so much stuff in here you know, and we're coming up on the two year mark of this video so we kind of wanted to bring it back to you guys uh, we did trim it a little bit because this video was originally like over an hour long so we did break it down for you guys a little bit and yeah, let us know if you guys have seen it before. If you guys are new to the channel, just keep watching. Some resin, some cricket, some little fidget popper bracelets. There's so much in here, Mr. Wolf's like trying to figure out what is going on. Because this is not normal. This is not what we usually find. I mean, we do find some new stuff, you know, but not like this. And for those of you who think this is fake, this is not fake. It is crazy and definitely not usual for us. But I'm still thinking this has to do with, like, the train thefts. Um, maybe, like... Amazon pirates that, you know, they're just hiding their stash, something like that. And it's been happening more and more, like, I was actually surprised, you know, when I started looking this up, like, how much this has been going on, especially, you know, in the last few years. We even drove by one time and saw that there was a train that had been you know, they broke into it and there was cases of beer, like, everywhere. Like, I don't know, these people, they just saw this train of beer and just decided, you know, they're gonna take some? So, we got some resin. There's some more resin. <laughs> There's pen covers, like, for tattoo pens. Um, let's see, there's like some decor signs, the roses, the spring, those are like little banners. There's some trash in here too. Some little makeup sponges. Some bubbles. This goes in a set, but Mr. Volt's just like sorting through it right now, separating everything. Because as you can see, there's a lot of other stuff in here too, so we need to kind of like sort through what all this is. Some coffee filters. Some little bells. And we did donate most of this. We also added some of the stuff to the mystery boxes. 
So if you guys did, you know, receive a mystery box with some of the stuff that you see, let us know in the comments. And if you guys are new to the channel, what we do is we fill a medium flat rate uh, priority mail box full of dumpster bag finds. So stuff that has been saved from the dumpster, saved from the landfill, we ship it out to you guys. So basically you just, you know, pay a flat rate, whatever the current price is in the description box, and we just fill that thing up. And I mean it, we fill it up. <laughs> so that's just a way for us to share some of the stuff we find. Because there's no way that we can keep all of the stuff. There's so much stuff out there. I mean, if you guys are just learning about dumpster diving or just, you know, kind of thinking about doing it, there's so much stuff out there. And yes, we are going to be getting out more. Uh, we have been, a, we've been a little off recently. So Mr. Volt has been having some trouble with his stomach, some pains, some heartburn. Um, as you guys know, if you watch the videos, there's times where he will lean over the dumpsters and that puts a lot of pressure on his stomach. So he is trying to use the stepping stool more now just to kind of take some of that pressure off because it was just getting so much and, you know, he, it's not worth the pain that he's getting, you know, to be going in like that. So, so far it's been good. You know, he has tried it before and he really couldn't really, you know, do it very well but he needs to now so he's putting in you know that effort with the step stool and hopefully that helps he says that it's been feeling better so that's really good because we do not want you know mr volt to be going through any pain doing this dumpster diving and as you know too if you guys watch the channel uh we do have our scrapping channel too so again that's like a lot of weight and pressure you know that he's putting taking this stuff out so when you guys do this just do what works for you the best way you know you can do it safely and we will keep you guys updated on that so again you know enable the notifications we're looking at some more videos soon Hopefully Mr. Volt is feeling better, you know, the way that he's changing things, how he's doing his dives. And right now, like, the stuff that he's going through, he's sorting it out. So all of this will be, you know, ready to go through and process because, I mean, it's a lot. We have to go through everything, see where it needs to go, what we're going to do with it. <laughs> and I'm telling you, with this particular dive, we had so many requests for things. So I think the only thing really that we have right now that we kept from this is probably those thank you cards. Because <laughs> we do try to send that out with our mystery boxes. And I think like one of the pill organizers. And the tissue paper with the hearts on it. <laughs> I think everything else was either donated or yeah claimed because there was a lot of good stuff in here I got a brand new pack of ink right there they do have these new printers now I'm um, not sure like how long is you know it's been out but I just recently saw it where they have these printers where you can just like I guess they have bottles of ink now and you can just pour the ink into it because the cartridges are super expensive and I don't know why it took so long for them to make these printers and that's something that like if you find empty ink cartridges you can sell them on eBay um, usually they go for around five bucks a piece and that's usually with free shipping but if you put a lot together you can get a good amount because people use those they clean them and they repurpose them which is great so yeah it's just something to think about if you find some dumpster diving 
Okay, this cookbook right here, we probably should have kept one, but I mean, we had so many requests for that. So, more stuff. <laughs> Mr. Volt is just like trying to go through everything. There was so much in here. Uh, power supply control. Um, I'm sure Mr. Volt knows what that's for, but I can't think of it right now. <laughs> okay, we got a cricket. A little mat right here, too. So, this box. Uh, besides the cricket, that was part of this this haul. But this box right here with all the toys, that was from another haul. So we might show you guys that video too pretty soon. But I mean, it's already been shown before, but kind of like a refresh on that. So those are from Party City. We got a little stuffed animal over here. Some little plastic cups, looks like. Some cinnamon fire Jolly Rancher. Okay, let me know if you guys like those, like the cinnamon candies and gums and stuff. I'm, I'm not really a fan of them. But I know a lot of people, they love that stuff. Okay, so there's the box for that. I think that was like a six pack. Or no. Oh yeah, it is a six pack. So I guess there's more. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen this video. See, it's even refreshing me. So, all of the stuff, brand new, thrown in the dumpster. Not sure if they were coming back for it or not, but trash trucks were coming, so we saved it from the landfill. Let us know your thoughts on this haul because, I mean, again, there's stuff that's brand new, like the Party City stuff you saw, but that stuff is kind of normal occasionally. You find some stuff that they get rid of, no big deal. I mean, not very unusual. But all of this, this was something else. <laughs> Also, if you guys leave your comments, we will pick three random subscribers to be featured in our next video to do a shout out. So, leave your comments, subscribe, turn on those notifications, stick around because we will be doing a giveaway soon. So, thanks for joining us today. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on our next adventure. Feel free to leave a comment with your own diving stories or tips. We love to hear from you guys. Until next time, keep diving, stay curious, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya!